In the last video, we had a brief introduction on how to identify the independent variable, dependent variable, and control variable of an experiment, as well as their definition. Let's take a look on this exam question to consolidate what we have learned. This setup frequently appears in the exam. It can be used to investigate the requirements for photosynthesis. The plant was placed in the dark for one day, and then it was left under bright light for a few hours. To understand more about the design of this experiment, we can first note the difference between the two conical flasks. The conical flask enclosing leaf Y contains potassium hydroxide pellets, while the other conical flask doesn't. Think about why potassium hydroxide pellets are added to the flask. To absorb carbon dioxide in the flask. So, we can deduce that the independent variable of this experiment is supply of carbon dioxide to the leaf. You might be confused about using two different leaves in the setup. Why doesn't this count as an independent variable as well? Since we have presumed both leaves carry out photosynthesis, we won't take this as an independent variable. We have now found the independent variable of this experiment. Based on the information we have, can you deduce the hypothesis and dependent variable of this experiment? The aim of the experiment is to investigate the factor required for photosynthesis and the independent variable is the factor being investigated. So we can deduce that the hypothesis of this experiment is carbon dioxide is necessary for photosynthesis. For the dependent variable, it depends on the change in the independent variable. If there is carbon dioxide supply, photosynthesis occurs and vice versa. If photosynthesis occurs, glucose is produced and converted to starch for storage. Thus, we can deduce that presence or absence of starch is the dependent variable, and we can use the iodine test to show the result. When considering control variables, we need to think about factors that affect photosynthesis. Apart from carbon dioxide, Light also plays an important role for plants to carry out photosynthesis. We need to ensure that during the experiment, the duration of light exposure and the light intensity shown on both leaves are the same. Next, we are going to discuss experiments involving more than one independent variable. What if the green leaf plant is replaced by a variegated leaf plant to repeat the same experiment. How many independent variables are being investigated? Note the features of variegated leaves before answering the question. The green parts of the leaf contain chlorophyll, while the non-green parts do not. Then go back to the question, how many independent variables are being investigated and what are they? The answer is two. The first one is supply of carbon dioxide when comparing leaf X and leaf Y. The second is presence of chlorophyll when comparing green parts and non-green parts of the variegated leaf. Hope you find this video useful and have learned skills for solving exam questions about variables. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a like and share this video to your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.